Today we're going to find out how to solve t-test for uncorrelated mean. Firstly, I'll introduce you the key ideas which will be needed later on. So we have here t is equal to x1 minus mean 1 divided by the square root of v1 divided by n1 plus v2 divided by n2. We also have here the formula of V1, which is V1 is equal to the summation of x1 minus mean 1 squared divided by n1 minus 1, and V2, which is equal to the summation of x2 minus mean 2 squared divided by 2 minus 1, wherein x1 is the mean of the first group, x2 is the mean of the second group, V1 is the variance of the first group, V2 is the variance of the second group n1 is the population of the first group, and n2 is the population of the second group. Now we have here a table to fill and to be able to find t. We have here x1 and x2 as our first and second group. In the next two columns, this is where you subtract the mean of the group to the given of the group in each row, and in the last two columns, this is where you square the difference of previous two columns. Now, before we get the mean, we have to get the population of the first group, the next we add all the given, and the sum will be divided by the population to get the mean. Then do the same thing in the second group. In the two columns, subtract each given in each column to its corresponding mean, of the group, for example, 12 minus 12.75 is equal to negative 0.75. Continue doing the same thing in the next column. Here are the answers. In the last two columns, square the difference of the same group to get the answer. For example, in column x1 minus mean 1, we have negative 0.75 being squared to get 0.56. Then add all the answers in the last two columns to get the summation. Steps when testing the truth of a hypothesis. First, formulate the hypothesis. The note is as HO and the alternative hypothesis HA. Second, set the desired level of significance. Third, determine the appropriate test statistics to be used. Fourth, compute the value of the statistics to be used. Fifth, compute the degree of freedom. Sixth, find the CV using the table of values. Seven, compare CV to TV. So now we have here example number one. Here you can see engineering and computer science. Marine engineering will serve as our X1 and computer science as our X2. Now know that before getting the T, we have to find first the V1 and V2. Like what was shown to you in the previous slide, complete the table first before proceeding in finding the T. Here are the answers. Next, formulate the hypothesis. Then in getting the variance of both groups, Substitute the formula of V1 and V2. Next, substituting the formula given. Next, DF. DF is equal to N1 plus N2 minus 2. Substitute the formula to get the answer. In getting the B, since the significance level is 1%, we will be using one fail test table, which is the picture shown at the side. Intersect the level of significance to the degrees of freedom to get the tabular value or the PV. The last step, wherein the HO is rejected because the CV is higher than the TV, there is a significant difference between engineering and computer science. So now let's proceed to example number two. Now why don't you try and solve it? You may pause the video to keep up.
Always remember each processes and to go. Now, here's another example for you to try. Good luck! Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today.